Sometimes you will take a picture and your horizontal line or your horizon is not perfect. Now this can happen through scanning or this can happen because your camera is tilted a little bit or for whatever reason this could happen. So in this case I have this picture of Lake Michigan and basically it looks kind of weird because it's going downhill. So what you can do to make this look a little bit better is using the straighten tool. Now this is version 13 in the bottom right hand corner of your toolbox you will be able to hover over this straighten tool and when you click on it it's going to give you three different options. There's the first one which is grow or shrink canvas to fit. The next one is crop to remove background and then the next one is crop to original size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the first one grow or shrink canvas to fit. Also you notice that this rotate all layers is checked. Well we only have one layer so it's no big deal but I'm going to have that checked. Another thing I'm going to do is auto fill edges. I'm going to, in this case, let's just go ahead and not auto fill and see what happens and then I'll go back and then check it to see what happens. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you select that the P, with the P on the keyboard or just go ahead and select the straighten tool. Then you take it and you click and see how I'm clicking and I'm dragging over to the right hand side to kind of put it on that horizon. And then it's not going to fill in the edges so basically it's going to be white. But you can go back in there and you can crop it to size if you want. But let's just control Z to undo that straighten tool and let's go in and click on auto fill edges and try it again. Now this won't work exactly perfect for each photo but in this case it works out pretty darn good because there's some solids in there but in the next photo that I show you it's not going to be so perfect. So there's one way of doing it. You can also go ahead and choose this middle one which says crop to remove background so let's just try it. Click and drag and then it crops it out. So that's good too. Control Z and then this one here we're going to go ahead and choose this one crop to original size meaning it's not going to um, reduce the file size or it's not going to reduce the physical size so it keeps it the same but it does not autofill. Alright so we did not click on that autofill. Let's try a different photo to see how it works on something that's not so perfect. So this one is a little bit downhill as well and in this case I probably would keep it this way but for demonstration purposes let's go ahead and choose that first shrink or grow and then I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag and then what I would probably do is crop it on my own. I would take the crop tool and then click and drag. Oops it's not showing up. There we go. Oops let's escape. <laughs> and then click and drag. There we go. Now it's set, we haven't talked about the crop tool yet, but it's set to 5x5. Five five. So I'm going to escape that and instead of 5x5 five five, I'm going to go 4x6. That's more of a natural size and then I'm just going to go ahead and take a part of that. So now it's a 4x6. Okay, we'll go into the cropping tool here in a bit. Let's just close that out and try this other one. Let's go file and open. Let's go ahead and get that same file. And then instead of using the not autofill, let's go ahead and click on autofill and see what happens because in this case I have a strong feeling it might not fill in as well as that last photo that we used. Of course the ones that we use are always real easy and they look easy and then you get home and you try it on your photo and it doesn't some, it does something like this. So notice that the head is filling in up here. It's not looking so good. Down here you've got some of her fingers and her toes and such. So no, that didn't work out so good. But again, we can go ahead and take that crop tool to crop it away if we need it to. And let's just pull the sides in. And if we cut off a little bit that's okay. Bleed off the side and then click on the check mark and there we have a great looking photo. So basically try out that straighten tool. It works great when you have things that are a little bit crooked when you're scanning or if you take a photo where the horizontal line doesn't look so great you can always straighten it up and then you save it as the straightened version.